Okay, so in this video we're going to talk about our newest feature to Perfect Mind, the dashboard. So what we're looking at here is one of our social sites. So when we want to see the dashboard, we want to go to the office. Now the first thing we're going to see when we click to the office is the dashboard. Now what the dashboard is, is it's a measurement of overall growth and performance of your school. Now right off the bat we see students. We see 122. If you run your mouse across the little tablet there, it will spin. You see 122 students are active in your school. Growth. 82.1% is your current annual growth based on having 67 active students January 1st. Billing. This is a forecast of your billing. So we run the mouse there. We see we have $7,977.91 is the amount in invoices scheduled to process within the next 30 days using Billing Direct. You're overdue. That's going to be your delinquencies. So right now we have $48,000 uh, is the total amount overdue invoices until today. The number of overdue students is 59. So just to get a snapshot of how you're doing with your school right off the bat. Now marketing performance. Now. What we can do with the marketing performance here is we can actually set a growth target. So you can say, I want to grow 25%. I want to grow 50%. If you use 25%, you could use the report range for this month. What this month means is it's going to compare this month to last month. If you wanted to do this quarter, it would compare this quarter to last quarter. And likewise with this year, this week, and so on. From here, what it would do is it would set your targets. These targets are based off industry standards. So you're saying, if I expect to grow 25% this month, then I should be getting 11 leads. I would need 10 appointments. Appointments are just booked intros. Uh, that doesn't necessarily mean they showed up. You would need nine intro ones. That means that you actually have somebody who showed up for the intro, likewise with intro two. And ultimately, you need five students for 25% growth. Over here, you'll see what you actually have. Likewise, everything will be tracked by the graph as well. Financial performance. Over here, we can see the overall memberships that we've sold, products, other sales. We can track our expenses here. Likewise, we have the graph system on the right. And down here we see student retention. These are your A, B, and C students. For those of you who are not familiar with A, B, and C students, an A student is somebody who attends regularly. We generally say twice per week. A B student is somebody who attends, say, generally around once per week. A C student is somebody who we consider to be on the verge of canceling, ultimately. Somebody who comes less than once per week. The C students are the ones that we always want to give them a phone call, find out why they're not attending, and then hopefully avoid them from becoming non-active. Now we do have a video on this uh, for ABC students if you want to learn more about this. Uh, the system will track your A, B, and C students so you'll know exactly who your A, B, and C students are. And again, you're going to have the pie chart over here so you can get an idea of your ABC students and your non-actives.